In the last video we installed Vagrant and VirtualBox and then we installed a Sketchbox on top of it to be our Vagrant box where we will do our development. Now, what I didn't show you that if you go to your home folder, I don't exactly know where this is on uh, a Windows machine, but on uh, Linux or on Mac OS it should be in your uh, users folder and then your home directory so mine is Ivan and you will have this folder called VirtualBox VMs so as you can see I have two virtual boxes one is this development that I use for my development and this is the one we created in the last episode so if we go to here and get info on it we can see that this folder is actually 2.75 gigabytes so according to Scotchbox whenever you want to start a new project uh, you should install Scotchbox and lose 2.75 gigabytes of your hard drive space so in this episode I am actually going to show you how you can use just one Scotchbox for all of your sites because we don't want to lose 2.75 gigabytes every time we want to start a, a new site which is going to be I don't know 20 megabytes okay I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you how you can uh, make your uh, vagrant box a little bit faster so what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm going to destroy the box that we created in the previous episode so you just go to CD my Drupal project that was the name of the box and I already did destroy it at least uh, the files that were necessary for vagrant box to run uh, it didn't delete my actual box so it didn't delete ri uh, this right here so to destroy it you would just do vagrant destroy and then for me it's going to say VM not created moving on but for you it's probably going to say are you sure you, you want to delete the default box and you just press yes and that's it uh, also I got an error while doing this behind the scenes uh, because it didn't have enough privileges to actually delete this folder so when you restart your computer you, you should just go to this users and then your home directory virtualbox VMs find the virtual box you want and just delete it I didn't restart my computer so I can't delete it right now but on reboot it will be uh, it would be able to be destroyed okay so now that we did that I'm going to CD out of this and I'm just going to delete this folder altogether so RF and my Drupal project. So let's create a new Scotch box. So to do that, we're just going to follow these steps once again. So we already got all of this installed, and then we just do this, copy it, and this time I'm going to call my Vagrant box projects because we are going to have multiple projects in it okay I already have projects and we are going to call it awesome projects okay so this is done then we just go into awesome projects and do vagrant up and then we wait for a bit so this should have run a lot faster for you now than the first time because it didn't download anything I don't know why it did download uh, in for me in the last video because I already had the Scotchbox installed it may be something to do with the version so maybe my Scotchbox is a little bit older so it downloaded the new version I don't know okay so now that we did that what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to open this thing in Sublime
um, because I just want to edit one file right here so as you can see you have uh, this thing here called vagrant file and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uncomment this line right here and comment out uh, this line right here so this is going to help us uh, for our box to run a bit faster so it's not going to be the slow as in the previous video so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to do vagrant reload and then we wait for the box to reload again so now that the box is reloaded we can go to this page so just copy that IP and our scotch box is running okay so the next thing we are going to do let's install Drupal on it not actually not Drupal we're going to uh, switch it up a bit and install WordPress because the next series is going to be WordPress so we are going to install it right now so I'm just going to go to wordpress.org and download it and download WordPress 4.4 put it in my awesome projects right here in public save it okay I'll op open up my file manager and just go to awesome projects public and then I'm going to unzip this but I'm not going to unzip it in the public folder I'm going to unzip it in the WordPress folder so I'm just going to create a new folder right here, here called WordPress okay and copy all of this to it okay so now that that is done if we go to this address and then do WordPress we should get a WordPress installation as you can see the WordPress installation is pretty much uh, the same as the Drupal installation so we have to do all the same steps one of them is of course creating a database so let's do that real quick so we're just going to do vagrant SSH to SSH into our vagrant box and then we are going to do mysql that username is root and we're going to let it let it prompt us for password and the password is also root okay and now we just create the database database and it's going to be called WordPress actually not like this but like this ah come on I always forgot the semicolon okay and uh, now if we uh, just do show show databases of course semicolon we can see that we have a WordPress database right here so we just do control D and exit from Scotchbox SSH now we have our database and we can just do continue and click let's go and then for the database name is going to be WordPress username is going to be root password is also going to be root and we can just submit this okay as you can see this runs much faster than the Drupal installation and we're going to say WordPress site username is going to be Ivan and password is just going to be test123 for this one confirm use of weak password
and we can just do install and that's it which is we can just log in into our WordPress installation so and log in and now we have a running WordPress on our local machine we can also do something like so that's one site if we want another site we just go to public directory and create another site and I'm just going to make this site be this scotch boxes uh, welcome page so I'm just going to copy this index.php to another site directory and now if I go to this IP and go to site we should get 